This is a lot of cat hair in one place. Hi folks, it's Simply Me. I make content about Miraculous Ladybug and today we are going to talk and react a little. Today I welcome you in this shorter than usual video, hopefully. We'll talk about the upcoming season 5 finale, Ooh. newly announced special Ooh. and very very upcoming movie. Ooh. This video is divided into sections, as you can probably see. Feel free to jump between them, skip to whatever interests you, and I shall start right now. The big bad, known as season 5 finale. <laughs> I'm just saying it because I really cannot stand season 5 anymore, and truth be told, I am really glad that this horrible experience is coming to an end. Before I say anything further, season 5 finale trailer came out and i want to watch it with you i already saw it once but i think seeing this again will help me form my thoughts better so let's jump right into it or to it surprisingly peaceful music Mon amour. gabriel's Je narration <coughs> Mes valeurs. Mais je n'ai jamais renoncé à toi, mon amour. Whatever he's saying just feels like je words que quelques at heures this point. Moi. Not, not really, not much Mais rien impact. ne pourra m'empêcher de m'emparer des miraculous de Ladybug et Chat Noir. Most of them are shown in their miraculous colors, mon like amour. in the colors of their miraculous. Not all of them, I think, but most of them. Interesting. Nice shot. What the? Everyone keeps having nightmares because of episode 24. Mata is having nightmares too, I suppose. What are you doing tomorrow? I'll keep asking that question until we get an answer. The back is trapped in the mansion. Lady back is trapped in Natalie's room, but she escapes to somewhere else. Bug noir. A lot of frames flag being silly. Um, yeah, a lot of frames because they wanted to you know, create the suspense and yes, I I hate you too, miraculous ladybug. The show, uh, the the final day, I think that's what it means in French. That was the the, the trailer. <laughs> it does really feel like a hate crime. I just. Like I said, I'm not excited anymore. My excitement died the second I read the script leaks in December last year. <laughs> of course, I'll watch the season 5 finale when it comes out and I think it comes out on July 1st. Like I said, I just want this to be over because I don't even accept season 5 as my canon. And it's not only because of Gabriel and Natalie, mostly because of them, but also as someone who's been watching since season 1. Season 5 feels like a huge middle finger to the fan base, and you know, lately I've been thinking that it might actually be the intention behind this season for, for some sick reason. Could it be that the writers are just this stupid but I don't want to assume the worst in them, in their like creative abilities because like, well, let's be honest, I'm not in the industry, I don't have the knowledge, the experience that they have, I don't think I should judge their abilities i can judge the product that i'm getting as a consumer more like as a fan and as a fan i am greatly disappointed in many many aspects of season five 
I want to assure you that the remaining reactions to season 5 will come out this summer. I am not too sure on when I will upload what, but all of the reactions that I recorded will be uploaded eventually. I know I keep saying that I'll start uploading on this and I'll start uploading after that and you know, I just keep postponing this over and over and over. Bye, have a great time. It's been a very difficult year, but I'm doing better and better and I hope this trend will continue. And also, I started a job this month in, in June. I've been working full time actually, so I had uh, very little time and little energy to do anything else besides just like basic functionality. I'm transferring to part-time in July so I'll have more time and hopefully a bit more energy whilst uh, earning money. Truth be told, there's also this fact of you know season 5 being what it is. It demotivated me greatly and the fact I am not like actively in the fandom. I'm not seeing everything like I used to and it also frustrates me a little. I'm more prone to isolate myself but i'm trying to fight it and i wanted to thank you for your support because like really this is for me this is stunning that people still want to watch my videos sometimes i feel like my videos are getting worse and worse instead of getting better and that i am highly irrelevant well i am highly irrelevant but with all that being said and i hope i made at least some sense let's move on to the next section which is the newly announced special episode miraculous world paris tales of shady back and clone noir i think there's been so many titles proposed for this that i'm not sure which one is the right one but um i've heard this one as, as the first and it just you know it's ingrained in my brain already so yeah a few weeks or months ago i think it was a few weeks ago um completely randomly zach announced that new miraculous special will come out soon now the proposed date is the beginning of um, the upcoming school year so fall this year which is crazy you must understand that past uh, specials and you know other projects were announced with years years before we saw you know like a trailer or something before we were sure that these things will actually come out and this we now have a trailer and i am going to watch it with you i already saw it um twice but i want to watch it again yeah let, let, let's watch the trailer and let's talk about this upcoming special that i am very excited about on the other hand <laughs> like when it comes okay this fall this fall you uh, this year Crazy. And it looks um, interesting. The unprecedented threat. Yeah. The other Ladybug and Cat Noir, which have completely different names. Adrian is sad for some reason. Oh my goodness. I so want to talk about this for the clash between two worlds. Miraculous enters the multiverse. Which is oh so popular these days. But, like I, I thought this this is you know this was bound to happen. And this whatever whoever this is and the adult Alia apparently. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I literally am so excited. <laughs> First of all, I cannot believe we have the trailer so soon. Oh hell yes. I am I am so glad that this time Zach decided to take a different approach with announcing their projects and kind of like held back to the very last minute with this an announcement. I think the, this was a great um, move, you know, uh, marketing wise. Now I trust them much more. <laughs> <laughs> just because of this one thing now let's read the synopsis one and synopsis two because i think two came out be aware that the synopsis might be a 
rough translation from another language and not be completely accurate. I think it's still understandable though. Messengers of miracles from another world <laughs> appear in Paris. They come from a parallel universe where the opposite is true. The ladybug and black cat bearers Toxina and Block Claw are the bad guys, while the butterfly bearer Hesperia, which sounds uh, suspiciously like Vesperia, is a superhero. Ladybug and Cat Noir will have to help Hesperia resist the attacks of their evil counterparts and prevent from taking possession of the miraculous butterfly. Can our heroes also help Hesperia make Toxina and Block Club better? Can they? <laughs> okay, time to talk about some theories. So my initial theories were two. I thought that it's either distant future and these, the, this girl that is on the poster is um, the butterfly superhero and is probably a relative of Alia, something like that. Or this is a alternative reality, alternative timeline, other dimension, you know, multiverse, which turns out to, to be the truth. And still that the um, this is the butterfly super hero who is probably Alia. <laughs> Now that we actually saw the trailer, I am confused on who is actually the bearer of the Miraculous of Butterfly because we saw this girl who, well this woman, who definitely is adult Alia because we saw her but the question is, is she Hesperia and Hesperia is the, the, the girl, the Butterfly superhero and this man who looks a lot like beta monarch but slightly different which oh my goodness this has to be gabriel this has to be gabriel and if it isn't gabriel from another dimension i will sue <laughs> we see him creating the akuma and, and sending it probably and also um rescuing marinette interesting interesting also like we saw Nino uh, at the very beginning of the trailer, probably adult Nino. Uh, he he looks slightly different than our our usual Nino. The question is, who is actually the butterfly superhero? Who is the man rescuing Marinette and sending out the Akuma? And is Hesperia the Akumatized superhero, or the butterfly, um, you know, miraculous owner? superhero or are they do they coexist and maybe the other gabriel is from yet another timeline but i think not i think it's just like you know our dimension and other dimension two dimensions clashing the reverse universe where ladybug and cat noir are the bad guys is not a new idea um this has been a work of fiction for a very very long time <laughs> of this fandom's existence uh so many fanfics so many fan arts well, it's a, it's a very popular idea to take the main superhero and twist it and switch it and make them the villain. Does it mean that it's a bad idea? I think not. I am very excited to see their designs, how they behave. Most interestingly, what is the reason, you know, f to, to, to be the bad guys and who is actually on the good guys team? in this universe and how this whole thing turns out. There's also the question of where on the timeline of our universe this thing takes place because that girl looks like adult Alia, not like, you know, alternative Alia, but like adult Alia. And our, you know, um, characters from our universe <laughs> look like their regular selves. I don't know, the vibes are giving me season 5. I think I saw a theory that this uh, special takes place after season 5 finale as a um, result of what happens in season 5 finale. Might be true, but at the same time it feels I don't know, something about it screams to me season 5 beginning. I would not be surprised if it was the same night that um, Evolution and uh, episode number three take place <laughs> because a lot have happened that night a lot have happened that night why not place yet another crazy event onto that one night <laughs> what i think about miraculous entering multiverse um to be fair i have wanted 
to see it for years. I, I thought that, you know, this is such an interesting world with, you know, the, the magic system, how it works. And, you know, probably there are multiple realities, multiple timelines. Why not explore some of that? And I'm glad that they are finally doing it. I am not surprised because, like I say, like I said, multiverse is a very popular concept nowadays with Spider-Man and all that stuff. And uh, I, I'm saying yes, yes, hell yes. <laughs> you can tell I am so much more excited for this one thing than uh, I have been for anything that came out out of season five. <laughs> but this is not the end of the things I am very excited about because we are also gonna talk about the movie that is coming to cinemas very, very soon. Well, in some countries, because I've heard that in USA um, it comes out only on Netflix. But my country is getting in, in cinema, so... I know the movie was already shown on these, like, you know, shows that are before the actual premiere of a movie in cinema, you know, the, the, they organize these shows. And people already saw the movie and it's available on the internet. And I must confess, I saw it, but not fully. <laughs> I watched the movie, skipping some scenes. I skipped all of the songs except for one that was the the main theme of the show, you know. Na 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 Because that section, that mother was that that section was so fun. I just I couldn't skip it. But the rest of them, yes, because I want to experience them for the very first time on the big silver screen. What do I think of the movie? I will keep my answer short because I think we are going to do a movie commentary when it's out on Netflix with uh, English dubbing. I think it's gonna be fun to, to talk about it um, in, in greater detail, but we'll see. But for now, I just have to say that this movie feels like a love letter to us, to the fans. Not, not, not only because of this, you know, one thing that those of you who saw it probably know what I'm talking about, but in general, the whole feel of this movie is very, I don't know. The movie knows the source material so well, and yet does its own thing that surprisingly works. It just works. Honestly, like, more than anything, I am surprised by the fact that this movie is more than just a capitalistic cash grab because this is all I expected from it. It just feels, feels like a hug. It feels like a warm hug after the slap that I continually received from season 5. And <laughs> Alrighty, that's all I had to say for today. I hope I made some sense. I hope that I explained myself <laughs> clearly. And I hope that you are going to see my reaction videos very, very soon. And I hope um, that this one comes out before season 5 finale because like this would be essential. <laughs> actually it felt nice to just talk about a bunch of stuff that is going on in our miraculous world because quite a lot is going on actually and i am glad about it i hope you are also excited about all of this or about some of this and you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments leave a like subscribe if you haven't yet you can buy me a coffee if you want to, of course and see you in the next one bye folks <laughs>